you are welcome back to my channel this is master bcmtv please like comment and subscribe please subscribe to this channel before we go this film you are watching look under by the right hand side you will see where the right sub scrib is subscribe use your finger to press it will now change to subscribe with notification bell press that notification bell it will now change to three bell options Press the one at the top, the one they write A double L beside painted, painted in white or black in some phones. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. Please don't forget again, like, comment, and subscribe. This is a tutorial on how to sharpen Starless Clipper Blade. This is a tutorial on how to sharpen Starless Clipper Blade upper and the bottom clipper blade with special stone on the super hard manual sharpening stone. I want you to watch. Let us observe the inner surface of this button clipper blade thoroughly. It has been used dull. Can you see it now? It has been used dull. Look at the inner surface here. Where you see that the inner surface of those small, small blade, black color. That place is dark. The place is dark. The place is down. Then where you see stainless in form of U-shape with this bigger blade, this bigger blade here, then the down part of the small, small blade joined together with the bottom of this thicker blade. Can you see it's form U-shape? That area is upper. Can you see it? That area is up where the inner surface of this small, small blade is down, which means this clipper blade cannot work fine again. It cannot cut air again perfectly. Let us watch the... Let us observe the inner surface of the upper clipper blade. Can you see it now? If you watch carefully, can you see the, the inner surface? Look at this inner surface I've just pointed now. You see, I just walked through. Look at the inner surface. When you look at that inner surface of this small, small blade, that part of it, you can see stainless in form of a line by the bottom. Then when you look, the, 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 when you divide the, the inner surface into two, you can see that half part of it by the back is stainless. That area is up. The front that is black, that area is down, which means the upper and the bottom clipper blade cannot have a good contact, cannot cut air. It has been used up. Now, I want to resharpen it step by step. I want to resharpen it, then using super hard manual sharpening stone with a special stone. Then I'll show you the way I want to treat the surface of the stone before the starting. Then the processing by the processing, the work is going. I will likely to be showing you now. Please like, comment, and share. Subscribe to this channel. Don't forget and press the notification bell button. Yeah, look at this uh, stone in my hand. This one is special stone. We don't use this one to sharpen clipper blade. We don't use, uh, in my own studio, I don't use this one, this stone to sharpen clipper blade. But I use it on the stone, on the super hard manual sharpening stone, yeah, to, to make, to activate the surface of the super hard manual sharpening stone I want to use to sharpen the clipper blade. That is why I'm saying subscribe to this channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and make sure you join the membership. When you subscribe to this channel, all the new, new dimensions I'm taking or bringing into the channel, you can be able to be watching the video step by step. If you really want to learn how to sharpen clipper blade perfectly, correctly, technically, logically, professionally, okay. When you subscribe to this channel, you press the notification button, press love and like, then you share this program out. Let many people enjoy it. Now I want to show you how to use uh, special stone to activate the surface of the super hard, uh, super hard manner sharpening stone, I want to use to sharpen the sterilized clipper blade, the upper and the bottom clipper blade. This is masking tape. We use this masking tape. We apply it to the back of the blade so that when you place your thumb at the back of the blade for sharpening, the back will not be slippery. Your thumb will not be falling out on the back of the blade you want to sharpen. Can you see it? So you cut little out of the masking tape 
you now apply it to the bag. I'll show you I want to apply it now. So you follow the process according to the way I'm doing it. So when you are practicing, you can be able to get it right. The step by step in sharpening. When I fix it finished, I will show you. You see the masking tape I use? So look at the way I place the masking tape at the back of the blade. This is the cutting blade. You see it? This is the blade I want to sharpen. This masking tape now, it will give the back of this blade grit. When you place your thumb at the back for sharpening, it will let your, under your thumb, hold it very well. The inner part of your thumb will have the grit on it to hold it properly. It will not be falling out. Your thumb will not be falling out on the surface, on the back surface of the clipper blade. At the same time, look at the way I fix for the bottom clipper blade. Too. This is compound blade. You can see it. I want to sharpen it. So when you fix it or you fix correct masking tape at the back, you press it very well so that it attach. So that when you want to sharpen, you place your thumb at the back of the blade. It will give it easy gridding. It will allow your thumb to have full control over the sharpening of the clipper blade on the super hard manner sharpening stone. Yeah. Before we go, you clean the surface of the stone you want to use, the super hard manner sharpening stone you want to use to sharpen the starless clipper blade, the hopper and the bottom clipper blade. This is the rack. This is the plane. I can see it. See the way I fold it. After now, you take the oil. This is oil. You can use thick oil. You can use light oil. This is engine oil. You can see it very well. Very, very thick. This is thick oil. You now drop it on the surface of the stone. The super hard manner sharpening stone you want to use. Then this is the... This is the stone you want to use. This is the special stone I want to use to activate the surface. Can you see the way I'm using it to scrub the surface of the super hard manner surface stone I want to use? You see it in this way. You see it. You see how the surface is. You see the parts that touch the super hard manner sapling stone I want to use. This is the area that I use to activate the surface of the super hard manner sapling stone I want to use. It doesn't reach here. Can you see the color of here? This is the area I use just now to scrub the surface. Then let me return it back. Then after that one, you now take the kerosene. You spray the kerosene on the you drop it on the surface. You see it in this way. You see it like this. You see it. You make sure the kerosene spread to cover the whole surface of the super hard mana sharpening stone you want to use. The reason is that uh, for putting the kerosene, this kerosene now will now mix with the oil. At the same time, we now mix with the special stone. The particles of special stone have used in scrubbing the surface of the super hard manner sharpening. So then the kerosene will give the sharpening movement, free movement. It will give it free mo 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 movement when you are sharpening. Then, you see the way I position my blade. I want to sharpen the blade now at the angle of 75 degree. 75 degree. This is 45 degree. You can see it in this way. This is an uh, angle 90 degree. You see it. This is an uh, angle 0 or 180. This angle 0 or 180. But now I want to use this angle 45. I will do it in this way, this angle 45. Now I want to use angle 75 degree. It will be like this one. You see the way I position it, this angle 75 degree. So I want to sharpen the first side now. And don't forget, 
I want to use zigzag movement. I want my movement to cover to touch. When you divide the stone into three like this, you divide into three parts. This one part, this second part, this third part. I want this, if I want to sharpen this side now, this side I want to sharpen it. I want to sharpen this side. Then the movement will cover from here. This number one, this is the uh, second part. It will cover this area. When I want to sharpen here, then uh, my movement will be zigzag. That is a uh, zigzag movement in sharpening of the clipper blade. Let me go down and see. I will go 10 times. That is to and fro 10 times. Now I want to sharpen the, the chemical split that the bar let me clean it. You see the way I clean it with, the, with duster. Now I want to sharpen this side. I want to sharpen the other side here. Then I want to use this side to sharpen. Then I will divide the stone into three again. This one, this is two, this is three. Then I will let my movement come from here. This is one, this is two, to stop here. When I want to sharpen this side, I will now use this side to sharpen. Let us go now. I'm sorry. That is to and fro 10 times. Let us clean and watch. You find a very thick jeans rag. Yeah, to clean. Let us clean and watch how the inner part is. You can see it. You can see it like this. So can you see it now? You see the inner surface of the hopper clipper blade. Yeah, the total shining has come across all the solar, all these all the surfaces and uh, total flatness has come. So this one has been sharpened correctly. Let me drop it down and go for the bottom clipper blade. Now before we go, as I used to say, we have used this surface to sharpen the hopper clipper blade now. We need to retreat the surface of the blade. Uh, super hard manner sharpening straight again by dropping the thick oil on the surface. You can first use your finger to rub at times to spread it. You see it the way I'm spreading it to cover the whole surface. You see it. You clean your, uh, your tongue there. You now take your special stone. This is special stone. Yeah, this is the special stone. You see it, you now use it to scrub the surface. Can you see now? You can see how the surface is. Then look at this one too. You see the portion that scrub the surface of the super hard mana sharpening stone for activating. This part doesn't touch at all. It will be going gradually by gradually to cover the more I use it. Then you look at the surface of the stone now, the way it is. After you spread the kerosene on the surface, the reason why I'm spreading the kerosene is to allow the movement to be free. Then the kerosene will mix up with the oil at the same time with the particles of the special stone. Though the particle of the special stone is as little as anything when mixed together to be like a, you put powder you mix powder with uh, oil, with thick oil. Now I want to sharpen for the bottom clipper blade now. I want to use angle 75. As I've told you earlier, uh, for now I want to use angle 75. This is angle 45 degree. This is out of place angle 45. This is out of place angle 0 or 180. This is out of place angle 90. This is how to place angle 45. But now I want to use angle 75. You see the way angle 75 is? This is how to place it for angle 75 degree. Then, when I want to sharpen, I divide the clipper blade into two. I first sharpen here. Then I will use the, 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 this side to sharpen. So if I want to sharpen this side now, I divide the stone into three. You see, this is starting from here to here. This is one part. This is the second part. This is the top part. 
I will now use tutorial of the side to sharpen the first side of the clipper blade. This is number one. This is set two. I will now use this portion, this area to tutorial of the space of the top of the super hard metal sharpening stone to sharpen the first side. So my movement will start from here with scissor movement. That is a scissor movement in sharpening of the clipper blade to, to stop here. Then when I want to sharpen for the other side now, when I divide the clipper blade into two, when I want to sharpen for this side now, I now use this side to sharpen. I divide the stone into three again. This is one, this is two, this is three. Then I, I start from here. This is one, this is two. I now use this, I sharpen this side with this side. This side you are watching. You see it? Let us go now. Let us start from here. That is two and four ten times. Let me clean the bar. The treatment has split. So let us go for the second side. Don't forget we are sharpening for here. Now I want to sharpen here. Let me clean the back again. I want to sharpen this side. I'm using here again this side. I want to sharpen. Let me clean the back first. I want to sharpen this side. I'm using this, 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 this side, the other side here. Yeah. Then I want to go for the third time. Now I would see where I position my thumb before, the center here, the center here. Now I'll move my thumb to here and here for the third time. So I want to start from here. So I want to sharpen for here now. Yeah, that is uh, two and throw 30, 30 times. 30 times for each side. Let me clean it. Can be able to see it properly. Let us watch how the inner part is. Can you see it now? Can you see everything has uh, shine across and the total flatness has shown, which means this clipper blade has been sharpened correctly. Can you see the way it has been sharpened? Look at the surface very well. Look at the surface very well. Watch it carefully. You look at the inner surface. Watch carefully. You can see it. Then look at the back here too. Then watch it completely. You can see it. This one has been sharpened correctly. After this one now, we now confirm by testing the hopper and the bottom clipper blade whether it has been sharpened correctly. This is the bottom clipper blade. This is the hopper clipper blade. We now turn it. We put it on top of each other. You can see the way you sit like this. You sit in this way. You sit in this way. You sit like this. You see, you now, you see the way I press it, you, you see the way I hold it, you see the way I hold it, you now use this one to press it down a little, then you will now be shifting from side to side as if it is mounted on the clipper engine. You will be dragging it from one side to the other. So you use the hopper and the bottom clipper blade surfaces to face each other. You now hold it firmly. You now press it firmly. You'll be dragging, using your thumb to drag in the upper clipper blade from side to side as if it's mounted on the clipper engine. Then from the front, you see when you do it in this way, then you take it to the back again. You see it, you do it this way, then you come to the back as if it's in form of low cut. So you'll be dragging from the left to the right, then from back to the front. Like this one, you see it? That is how you continue doing it for some time. So after now, you now open it. When you open it, you now see the carbon fill, the inner surface of the hopper and the bottom clipper blade in the front and in the back without any space, which means the clipper blade has been sharpened correctly. That is the professional way to check with your hand. Can you see it now? 
Can you see it now? So which means the upper and the bottom clipper blade has agreed totally. Yeah, when you can sharpen your clipper blade and you, you, you test and you discover something of this nature, something of this sign, which means you are a real professional, the blade is going to work fine. Yeah, there's no space in between the upper and the bottom clipper blade inner surfaces when placed together. Can you see it? Please don't forget, if you like, if you really enjoyed my video, please like, like this video, comment and share. Let many people see it again, please. And don't forget, if you have not subscribed before, subscribe before you go. And don't forget to press the notification bell so that the moment I'm releasing my video in my YouTube channel, you are going to be the number one to be seeing the video. Thank you. So be expecting another valuable tutorial after this one again. Be expecting another one because, as I promised, I will be giving you different, different type of uh, sharpening techniques. How to sharpen different type of clipper blade in the Baba workshop. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, comment, and share this video out. I appreciate it.